Hello everybody. Today I will try to give you a brief description on GSM. What is GSM and how does it work? What is GSM? GSM stands for Global System for Mobile Communication. This is a cellular network system for voice and data communication. Mobile equipment, mobile uh, which is a handheld device, uh, will communicate with GSM network. as a voice and data combination device. Currently data combination device separately available. Before having the description, we must know about this short term that we will use in this presentation. BTS means for base transceiver station BSC base station controller, MSC, mobile switching center, HLR, home location register, VLR, visitor location register, STP, signal transfer point, MGW, media gateway, EIR, equipment identity register, SMSC, short message service center, USSD, and structured supplementary service data, SIM, subscriber identity module, ICC ID, integrated circuit circuit data identifier MZ international mobile subscriber identity MSISDN mobile subscriber ISDN number IMEI international mobile equipment identity GPRS general packet radio service GGSN gateway GPRS support node SGSN serving GPRS support node S enhanced data rates for GSM evolution HSPA high speed packet access LTE long term evolution 3GPP third generation partnership project HC European Telecommunications Standards Institute APN access point name PDP packet data protocol WAP wireless application protocol MMS multimedia messaging service MMSC multimedia messaging service center How does GSM network work? How does GSM work? GSM needs base transceiver station module to communicate with mobile device. Mobile device can change base transceiver station based on coverage and capacity. GSM operates in different frequency bands. 900 MHz and 1800 MHz allocated for GSM communication. In USA and Canada, they use 850 MHz and 19 MHz for GSM. First generation GSM used 400 MHz and 450 MHz. This is the basic architecture of GSM network. STP is the center for GSM network. In case if the network don't have an STP, MSC will be the center of this network. Here STP is the signal transfer point. All other nodes are connected with this STP for the signal communication. Media gateway. This is for the voice gateway. For this two STP and media gateway are connected with the external network. For example, if you have more than one operator, the interoperator communication for the signaling can be done between the STP to STP and for the voice communication, uh, the trunk will be connected between media gateway. If the field level network is the VTS.
all mobile devices communicate with this BTS. A, a group of BTS connected with BSC and MSC can cover more than one BSC. In a network there can be more than one MSC. And the other nodes are processing the signaling only. Only the MSC and the media gateway in the core part they are communicating for the voice. Let's have the description for each items in the GSM network. Mobile device. Mobile device is a wireless transceiver module that will communicate with the VDS. Voice and data communication module where voice and data can be used simultaneously. Currently several types of mobile devices available in the market based on the 2G and 3G. Base transceiver station BTS is a wireless transmission and receiving terminal. All mobile device connected with the nearest BTS. A group of BTS will be connected with a BSC. Each BTS has identification number in the network based on site and capacity. It can be separated to three to six cell. For every cell, there should be an antenna that will cover this cell. Base station controller. BSC is a GSM node that controls one or more BTS in the network. BTS can be connected using microwave or optical fiber. BSC connected to the MSC for voice and signal communication. For data communication, it's connected with this GSM. Mobile device handover intelligence between BTS, which is called BTS handover, and call setup controlled by BSC. Radio network management, including radio frequency, controlled by BSC. Mobile switching center. MSC is a subcenter of large network or center of small network. MSC is part of GSM core network. MSC is related with switching, call setup, release. MSC control a group of BSC. In large GSM network, MSC connected with STP for signal routing and media gateway for voice switching. Home location register, HLR, is a central database, contains mobile subscribers' details, information, which is used for core network. Every subscriber should be identified with MZ and MSI's DN pair and uniquely associated with one HLR. In a network, there can be more than one HLR. Based on the subscriber number prefix, HLR can be separated. Visitor location register. VLR is a subscriber database having subscribers' details information. VLR response will be faster than HLR. VLR stores some additional information for which HLR need to communicate with voice network or radio network. VLR will reduce the cost so that for call communication on other part, other node don't need to communicate with HLR every time. They can communicate with VLR for getting the subscriber information. Signal transfer point. STP is SS7 message router. Route messages between GSM signal endpoints and other STPs. STP connected to the signal endpoint using signaling links only. STP will not handle any voice related traffic or other voice related data. Media gateway is a circuit switch or IP gateway that converts voice packet data from Format A to format B required by the destination or connected network or endpoints. Sometimes we call the media gateway as a soft switch. EIR, Equipment Identity Register, is a central database which contains subscribers handset IMEI. If network configured for check in EIR, then for any subscriber, if the IMEI is enlisted in EIR, 
the mobile device will not be able to use in the network. AIR can be used to prevent a stolen or unauthorized mobile device use. Short Message Service Center SMSC is a note that deliver SMS to subscriber any SMS either from subscriber to subscriber or application to subscriber must be sent via SMSC. Every subscriber C store a service center number where the subscriber initiated SMS sent. SMS communicate with HLR for subscriber location and VLR for delivering the SMS. USSD an unstructured supplementary service data to have a ussd service network must have ussd gateway ussd gateway is a node that provides ussd service ussd can be mobile initiated or network initiated user can dial a ussd code and can access or avail any service easily Mobile subscriber ISDN number MSISDN is a unique number for every mobile subscriber. MSISDN format have three fields. CC is for country code. MDC and PA is the national destination code or numbering plan area. SN is the subscriber number. The sample here 0088 is the country code for Bangladesh. 014 is the National destination code. This is the operator code, and the last eight digit is a serial number. Subscriber identity module is a physical module provided to subscriber. MSISDN map with this SIM in reference with MZ. SIM is electronic circuit that stores some encrypted data written by the service provider. In market, three types of SIM available: mini micro nano integrated circuit card identifier icc id is unique identification number for sim it's a 20 digit number mz international mobile subscriber identity mz is a sim identification number registered in hlr msisdn mapped with mz MZ mapped with ICCID. International Mobile Equipment Identity IMEI is a universal unique number for mobile device. It's a 15 or 17 digit number where last digit is the checksum. Using the IMEI GSM network can lock the stolen device. To check the IMEI, user need to enter star hash 06 hash the display he will get the IMEI of his device. General Packet Radio Service is GPRS. GPRS is packet based data service for mobile users in GSM. GPRS charged based on volume instead of minutes in circuit switch network. Based on GPRS, GSM provider offers MMS, internet, push to talk and other services. GGSN is a gateway GPRS support node, which is the main component of the GPRS network, and this is the gateway between the GPRS network and external packet data networks like Internet. From network point of view, GGSN is a router to a sub network. GGSN converts the data packet coming from SGSN to PTP, while incoming data packet address converted to GSM address of the destination user. Here the mobile user. Serving GPRS support node is SGSN. SGSN handles all packets with data within the network. Packet routing, packet transfer, mobility management. SGSN stores user location and user profiles. All data users must be registered in the SGSN to get GPRS service. AS enhanced database for GSM evolution. AS is a pre-3G technology which is backward compatible extension of GSM 
to allow improved data transmission rates. HSPA high speed packet access. HSPA is a combination of two protocols HSDPA high speed downlink packet access and HSUPA high speed uplink packet access. HSPA extends and improves the performance of existing 3G mobile telecommunication network utilizing the WCDMA protocol. Evolved HSPA, HSPA Plus is an improved 3G PP standard. Third generation partnership project, 3GPP, is a collaboration between groups of telecommunication association who prepare globally applicable 3G mobile phone system specification based on GSM specification. EPSI, European Telecommunications Standards Institute, is an independent non-profit standard organization in Europe telecommunications industry. Long term evolution LTE is an uh, incompatible with GSM 2G 3G network and it needs a separate radio spectrum. It reduces significant transfer latency for IP based system. LTE together with WiMAX and HSP and known as 4G. Access point name. APN is the gateway between a GSM, GPRS, 3G or 4G mobile network and another computer network like internet. APN identifies the data network in the data service like WAP, MMS that a mobile data user wants to communicate. PDP is packet data protocol is a data packet structure that contains users session information before using data service user need attach PDP content. PDP packet data protocol. PDP is a data packet structure that contains user session information. Before using data service, user need to attach PDP context and activate it. Wireless application protocol WAP is a technical standard or a specification or a set of communication protocol to standardize the way to accessing information over a mobile wireless network by mobile devices. A web browser is a web browser for mobile devices such as mobile phones that uses the protocol. MMS, Multimedia Messaging Service. MMS is a standard way to send multimedia content messages from mobile phones over a cellular network. MMS messages send as MIME messages. The message is then forwarded to the MMSC. MMSC send the MMS containing the URL of the content as an SMS control message to trigger the receiver's web browser to open and receive the content from the URL. MMSC. Multimedia Messaging Service Center. MMSC is a carrier MMS store and forward server. MMSC can modify the content based on the receiver's handset capability. MMSC acts as a relay to send the MMS to the receiver on a different carrier from the sender. MMSC will forward the MMS to the receiver's MMSC using internet. This is all from GSM for today. Thank you.